How is it going guys today? I've got a prototype to show you. I've noticed that a lot of people have been getting rear-ended lately. A lot of distracted drivers out there on their phones and such. Our cars do sit a little bit lower, but that's not an excuse. So we decided to take a concept that works on the WRX and SDI and incorporate it into this chassis. And that is where this comes into play. Uh, this is the third brake light. So this is the brake light that mounts onto your trunk. Um, and this has a built-in F1 blinking function. So it's gonna get the attention of the driver behind you. Uh, it also is gonna come in a couple different colorways. So this right here is a smoke lens with chrome base. There's also gonna be a smoke lens with a black base if you want that murdered out look. We've also got a red lens and then a clear lens option. So you can swap out the stock one, which is red with something that's similar, or you can change it up depending on the look you're going for. I'm gonna be installing the red one on the car because this one is the actual one that has the F1 blinking but I may toss the smoked one on there just to show you guys how it looks as well. Um, I'm not gonna be doing a full install video once the product's actually available. I'll definitely have an install video out for you guys, but for now, I'll just fly through it so I can showcase how this looks and how it works. Being that the light is built into the trunk, we need to remove this molding so we have access to it. The molding's just held in place with some nuts and bolts on the back side. I've also unclipped and pushed the grommets for the harnesses through. So once we have all the hardware removed, we'll be able to pop that off. Easiest way to pop it free is to apply pressure on this black trim on the underside here. There we go. With both sides popped off, you can kind of just keep prying it free to release the rest of the clips. And then carefully make sure those harnesses come out. On the back side, we're gonna unplug this connector here. Just need to pinch it and pull it back. And then there's two Phillips head screws holding the actual light itself in. I'm also going to remove my reverse camera, but uh, you're not gonna need to do this. I'm just doing this to make it a little bit easier for myself because the harness that I'll show you guys later is already incorporated. I'm also gonna remove one of these brackets here so that we can actually get the light itself out. It's just another Phillips head screw. Now we can pull the light out. I'm gonna slide the new one into place. This was previously installed on the Neptune Blue GR86. That's why I took my camera off because it was already hooked up to this one, but I'll explain that in further detail once I have this installed. So now I'm just gonna plug this in and then reinstall the screws. Honestly, I could probably leave that bracket off, but uh, we've gone too far. So let's talk about why I removed my reverse camera. Uh, you can see that there's another harness that comes out from the light that we just installed and that goes to this switch here that controls the F1 blinking function. So you can turn it on and off using this switch. So what you need to do to get that inside the car, or inside the trunk, is run it through the same spot where the wire for the camera goes. So that's the reason why I just swapped the cameras over because I didn't want to have to pull this harness out of uh, the sheathing that we've already installed it on. So I just installed the whole assembly. But once you get this, or when you get this, you're just gonna have that harness. And what you'll need to do is cut the zip tie off of the grommet here and then feed that harness through and go through the sheathing. And then once you have it through, you'll uh, crimp on these connectors and plug in this uh, switch. And then everything else, 
well, everything really is plug and play. Now it's just the reverse process. I did need to unplug that button so that we can feed the harnesses through the hole in the trunk. Now we'll just line up everything else and push it into place. We got the molding reinstalled. I'm just gonna leave the nuts and such on the backside off. I've already plugged everything back in. And you can see that we've got our switch back here. Uh, I plugged that in after we got it installed. Um, you can either leave this back here and just zip tie it away behind the cover, or if you really want, you can mount it to the cover and have it sticking out so you can switch it on and off. But I don't see uh, many people wanting to change that that often. So you're probably gonna wanna just zip tie that away. But uh, let's see how this thing works. All right, everything is reinstalled, so let's hop in the car and I'll show you guys how it looks. I do have the F1 function on currently, so it should blink when I step on the brake like this. So it's gonna blink a couple of times, I think five or six times, I can't count that fast. Um, and then it'll be solid, just like a normal brake light. I'll turn the lights on and then break so you can see how it looks with the lights on. Obviously it's going to be the same thing, but your taillights are on. And then I'm going to hop back and we'll switch it to the normal brake light. Now it shouldn't blink at all. And I can't see back there to see if that's the case, but hopefully that's the case. So now it should just look the same as the OEM light. All right, let's take this one off and we'll throw the smoked one on and see how that looks. Come on, get out of there. We've got the smoke one installed now. You can see it integrates really well with the black trim across the trunk and on the rest of the tail lights, but let's get the setup and I'll show you what it looks like um, with the lights on. So this one, like I said earlier, doesn't have the F1 blinking, so it's just gonna be a solid brake light, but the production models will have that switch to turn the F1 blinking on and off. But that's what it'd look like if you were to turn the F1 blinking off. So light output should still be very good. And then with it off, you've got that nice smoked look. And that's gonna do it guys. For me, it is an OEM Plus upgrade. When someone first takes a look at your car, they're not gonna notice right away that you swapped out your third brake light, but you're definitely gonna be able to be seen out on the road with that F1 blinking function. And if you're just doing this for the looks of the different colorway options, and you're not a big fan of the F1 blinking, you can turn it off and you've got the best of both worlds. So I'm curious to know what your guys' thoughts are and what your go-to colorway would be. Make sure you comment down below. I will definitely let you guys know once these are available. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.